All right, you guys, so today we're not actually doing nails. What we're gonna go through is a little bit of some of the questions that you guys have been having about your dust extractor, okay? I wanna take you through how to clean your dust extractor, how to maintain it so that you're gonna get a longer life out of it. And then also maybe what happens when you get what I like to call that blue light of death, that flashing blue light of death. So first things first, after every client, this is what I recommend doing, going through Take off the top part, take your filter out, dump that dust into the trash after every single client. That way, when you go ahead and put that back on and you go to your next client, you're gonna have a nice, kind of a fresher filter. Now, you can actually do this in between your clients too, just to make sure that you're getting enough of that um, dust extraction and that dust getting pulled away. So anytime you feel like it's not pulling dust, take out the, um, take out the filter, Empty that into your trash and dust that out, okay? When you put your top back on, make sure that you're getting that solid on there. Here's the first challenge that I think a lot of people have, is they'll put their filter back in and it'll maybe be a little bit off. And I want you guys to take a look. If you haven't seen this yet, there's a little lever right inside there that your filter is gonna sit down on. Now, when you put your filter on there, it should press it down. You should kind of hear that little bit of a click, but if you don't, usually when you put that top piece back on, that'll click back down, okay? Now, here's a challenge that I've seen happen, it's actually happened to me, is that inside, what holds the top part down are four little magnets. So these magnets actually adhere to the corners of your dust extractor and that's what pushes your filter down and engages that little lever. That lever is what allows your filter and your dust extractor to continue to run, okay? If your filter is not positioned and that lever is not pushed down, then your filter is not gonna engage and then you're gonna get that Again, what I call the blue light or that flashing blue light of death, okay? So you can see, because my filter's not on there properly, I'm gonna get that flashing blue light, okay? So make sure, again, that your filter is set into place and it engages. So see how it now turned off? I also wanna make sure that I, again, put that um, top back on. But what I was gonna show you, inside there's those four little magnets, or there's supposed to be four. So what happened on this one is that magnet, actually two of those magnets have come out either in cleaning or not sure how they came out, but they came out. So always keep an eye. Every time you take that top part off, make sure that you always have those four little magnets in there. Sometimes they get stuck on the corners here where it's um, adhered to the dust extractor itself. Sometimes if I'm wiping it down or if I wipe down this part, it may have caught and then caught on my wipe. Okay, which brings me to another point. As you're working throughout the day, I just like to use just regular um, alcohol wipes, nothing fancy, just to come through and wipe off any dust. Okay, so this is gonna really help to keep the outside of your machine nice and clean, and it's going to also help to keep that dust from getting inside. When you take the top part off, wipe out the inside, and then you can also wipe off the top here and then wipe through here. So again, as you're working, be cautious of those little magnets, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna put this one back on to make sure that everything has situated in there. Okay, again, give it a nice quick wipe down. Depending on what your local state board requires, you may need to use a disinfectant wipe on this rather than just an alcohol wipe. So whatever your state board tells you, make sure that you're doing those procedures as well, okay? Okay, so how do I keep my dust extractor running really well for a long time? Okay, that first thing that I showed you, always make sure after every client that you take out that dust filter, empty it out, clean everything off, replace your filter, and then replace your top, okay? So that's after every client or even between, you know, in between your services um, as you're going with your client. So maybe you're done filing your prep. Maybe you think that you need to fill or maybe you think you need to empty that dust out there before you do your actual filing and finishing. So wherever in your service you need to empty it, go ahead and empty it as often as needed. Okay. Okay. At the end of the service, 
okay? This is what I recommend, or even at the end of the day, if you don't have time in between services, I recommend either getting some canned air, or we found this really cool tool on Amazon. It's um, similar to what the canned air would do, but it's just a kind of a vacuum in reverse. It's gonna blow all the dust out of this. So either using the canned air or this nifty little tool, you're gonna take everything apart, okay? Take that filter out, empty out the filter. This little tool here even comes with a brush. So if you don't have this brush, you can just use your manicure brush and that works fine too. But come through and really kind of clean out in between that filter. So it loosens up any dust that may be in there. Okay, go through, empty that again into your trash, okay? Because it's gonna loosen some things up. Then what you wanna do, is again, either with the canned air or the little gun here, you wanna clean out inside the fan, you wanna clean out around that little um, lever right in there, and you also wanna clean out that on off button. Now, before you do any of this, make sure you unplug. So unplug the power so that it's not connected. Come through, and I actually like to lift up so that it's not sitting on like a towel or something that's gonna hold the dust in, okay? So just come through. Give it a couple of sprays around, clean out around there. And then I actually like to press that button so it kind of almost opens up around it so I can get in between there, okay? Then turn your dust extractor over and spray inside there, okay? Because a lot of times dust can accumulate inside here, and this is actually what can kind of gum up the mechanism inside. So if you press that button and you get that flashing blue light, it's a lot of times just because there's dust buildup inside there, or kind of around everything inside, or around the, um, the fan, okay? Same thing with this tool, it's a little bit loud, so bear with me, but it also works really well. So I'm gonna turn it on. This one actually has three different um, levels. It's got the low, medium, high. It also has a couple of different attachments. So if you feel like you need to get in there a little bit more, you can use the attachments as well, okay? So just something other than, you know, the canned air, if you don't have access to the canned air, or if you want something a little bit more powerful to help you clean that out, okay? So once you've cleaned everything out, you should be able to put your filter back on Securely put your top back on and then go ahead and plug it back in, okay? You shouldn't have any issues with that light flashing once you've cleaned everything out. Okay, one other thing to keep in mind as you're working, okay? I want you to take a look. It does have a vent around the base of the machine, so all the way around the base. So as you're working, try to keep this more on a flat surface, so something like just your regular tabletop rather than over the top of terry towels or anything like that. Um, the table towels that we use are pretty okay. Just make sure that you're keeping this side and all the way around here vented as well as you can. Because a lot of times if you have, you know, maybe a terry towel that's kind of tucked up under there, it doesn't allow that vent to circulate. So it's not gonna pull that air out as well and it's not gonna suck down the dust as well. Okay, so always make sure to keep that um, clean and away from the vents on the sides, okay? Okay, so after every client, we've taken out the filter and emptied that out. At the end of the day, we've cleaned out and sprayed out all of the dust that's in the whole entire thing. Now, what I recommend doing is maybe about once a month or so, um, or depending on how often you're using your dust extractor, is take the dust or take the filter out and do all of the other cleaning things that I just talked about, but then you can also rinse this in water. So just run it under the faucet and that'll help to really get out some of that really fine dust that may be caught in the filter, okay? I don't recommend doing this every day because that can eventually wear out your filter a little bit faster, but every so often, if you feel like it's 
kind of getting towards the end of its life, go ahead and rinse it out and that'll just kind of, kind of boost it back up a little bit, okay? Do it at the end of your day, let it dry overnight and then reinstall and put it back in and you should be good to go in the morning, okay? So hopefully some of these tricks will help you guys keep your dust extractors working a little bit better, keep them working a little bit longer and avoid, avoid getting that flashing blue light of death. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to channel.